What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm bringing a deck profile on the Royal Paladin Brave deck. Uh, with a new support, I feel like Brave is good enough to play, even though summons a card is still bad, but I still made it. Also, this deck is based on partly based on Alfred, just for the Link Joker. So, let's get on started. For, Van for starting Vanguard, we have the Brave one. Uh, good skill, because the first turn you try, you try to have a booster for your field and you might call a shrine enabler which you don't want to because you want to shrine with it but with this starter you can bounce it back at the end of the turn plus that turn it gives an extra 5k which become a 12k you could do an attack or a boost whatever you want uh also is if you have a armor as vanguard the shrine skill gives another extra 5 so that become a 17k which is pretty good uh, help you attack and stuff. So, and also you don't lose anything since at the end of the turn you bounce it back to your hand. Then moving on for grade three, we have four all mile. Uh, main card you want to ride main grade three. I mean, GB two skill is your whole final gains five k. Pretty good. Uh, help you win game. It, at least it did for me. Second skill is uh on shy. Every time you shy, you can counter us one. Uh, give two unit five k. The calling. 2 unit from your hand is optional, so you don't have to call, and you can just give 5k to your unit, which is pretty good. I mean, one counter boss give you unit 2 trigger power, not bad. Then, back up grade 3, we have Alfred. Alfred is just there for the Holy Square, Dra Square Dragon, I'm not sure what the name, to unlock if you're playing against the Joker. But, to be honest, if you're playing against Messiah, it's not that useful, since they have GB2 the first turn they shy. Not like before, they had to wait a turn, you unlock, helps you, it benefits. Now it doesn't, because even if you unlock, they can still soap us and draw. And with it, and you can unlock, only unlock yourself twice, but they can lock you every single time they try. So it's okay with a card, just for your turn to push. But other than that, I don't use it for anything else. I don't legion to it, because usually if you're not playing against Messiah, just second or third time you try you could win the game uh even if you're not on alfred uh, no amile as a vanguard with a new shy fetus you don't need amile it's just that you lose a uh, 5k power from the shy uh shy skill but still good it still can win uh moving on to grade two we have four shine out uh i play shine out because two reasons first it has brave skill second it's pretty free because some of the brave cards you need uh, Alma as Vanguard, but now you usually trying to feed us. Uh, feed us doesn't have uh, Alma's Alma name in it, and if you have Alfred as a heart, the card will be useless. So running this, bra first is brave, second it doesn't need Alma, so pretty good. Then moving on to other great shoes, we have. For Blast Away, main card of the deck, I f at least that's what I feel. Because you have Flogo to work with it, and which pretty good. Give you extra attack, uh, let you do whatever you want. Because Blast Away with a trigger, Shrike skill, and Thetis GB3 skill, that's 24 on its own. So attacking twice when your opponent is at 5 or 4 with a crit on it, that's a lot. And plus, you're going to have a booster. Uh, one of the attack is going to get higher, which is pretty nice. Uh, then moving on, we have four uh, Hope Song Angel. Uh, I played this for one reason to call a Brave Skill Grade One. There's a Grade One that that you had to call with this. Uh, no other card can call it, or you could, or it's in your hand, you could call it from hand. Uh, other than that, this is a card that help you toolbox that card out and thin out your deck too. That's why I play two. Then I play two Twin Sword. Uh, I don't usually go into Twin Sword anymore, even though Twin Sword is still good. Because the deck needs Brave, and usually my board in the front row is going to have a Blast Obey and a Shine Go. That's it, usually. But there's time you will call a Twin Sword just for the extra attack. Let's say you have a Flow Go, but you don't have Blast Obey. Twin Sword can help that. And pretty good. Not bad, still a good card. Then we play one uh tag up. Uh I'm not sure what the name, but 
it's a great shield for you on the board, on the back row as well. So it helps you with your uh, G Guardian, since your G Guardian needs Grade 2 on the board. Is, if your Grade 2 are in the, in the front row, usually your opponent will attack it and kill it. So you can't use G Guardian skill. But with this, you have at least you have one saved at the back row. So you could use part of the G Guardian skill, one of them at least. The other one needs two, which I really don't like Royal Pan and G Guardian, how they made it. It depends on grade 2, which is not that good. The other ones, like Dark Regular, if you have 15 more soul, or your unit can gain resist. Uh, Kage one can burn a unit by counter as 1. Like, they do better, they have better ones than the Royal Pan one. I hope they change it or they make a new one for it. Because the grade 2 guard is really bad. Then moving on to grade 1, we have 4 PG. I, play, I still play 4 on flip, not uh... Not like before with the sentry guard, I play one as a brave one, cause this deck kind of as heavy. Uh, with the card you we have right now, you don't look that you kind of as that heavy, but you actually do, and you want to outflip as much as possible. So I play four. You could play three and one brave if you want, so that you could call it with hopes on two, or you could call it from hand to help you extra attack, and you could bring it back to your hand at the end of that turn. But play four just for the kind of uh, counter charge. Then moving on, we play three Strider. Strider Father. Set to Shry. You could call it early game. Like, first turn Shry with Arma on the Vanguard. Shry skill, call it out. Then plus five, so that's 12. And then starter skill, that's 17. You could bounce it to hand at the end of the turn. Uh, and next turn, you could use it to Shry as well. So it's, you don't lose anything. It's pretty good. 7k booster anyway. Then we play for the grade one that counts uh, as grade two in deck. And also has Brave skill, even though his Brave is not that good, cause it's just a 10k booster and you need to have a armor as Vanguard. So, but still, it's a Brave target for you with a Fetus, so you run 4. Then we play 2 of the Great 1 from Regional. Uh, you 2 bounce it out with Shine Girl, you call it out, and let you counter charge 2 and draw a card. Pretty good. Not... Not much to say, you just want the counter charge. Then for trigger lineup, we have 4 flow go crit. Everyone knows by now, it's for Blaster Bay. Then 4, then 3, uh, our mile crit. Uh, let you gain a soul and draw a card plus 5. So it helps you with a Dante goal. So you can keep out the back row instead of moving it up. When you don't have soul, I mean, you can move that grade 2 up. So, not bad. Then, for heal trigger, uh, G Guardian now and with uh six damage heal like miracle heal. Then we play five draw trigger. Uh, I play five instead of four because I want the extra draw and plus triggers a five k shield. You rather discard a five k shield for feeder skill than a ten k shield. So pretty good. And plus it help you defense too if you want to rush you and you. Pull off draw trigger, uh, help your defense with an extra 5k shield and extra card in your hand to defense. Like, if your opponent still power goes over you, you could drop the card that you draw since you draw an extra one. Then, for gray fourth, which is shy, we have main one for fetus. I play four, uh, I really like it. It helps you set up GB2 easily. Uh, because before the only GB2 you have is a mile, which you don't want to try your first turn. Because it's not like Asha, when you first try, you still have some skill to work off. If you first try Armile, all you have is an extra 3k to your front row, which is not that good. But with Fetus, at least you get to call a card. And you could just call Blaster Bay, Twin Sword, Hope on Angel the first turn you try this, since you don't have the Brave, brave skill. But then, other time, you could just call Brave. Like the second, third, or fourth time you try into this card, you could just call Brave. And draw an extra card. Uh, next up, we run four dragon. Uh, the only reason, the only time you will actually use dragons against Link Joker, and you have Alpha as Vanguard. Other than that, uh, what I use for Fetus flip. Uh, the good part about Fetus is that you don't need to flip itself. So you could flip first, second, third, fourth. You shot into a Fetus. You could just flip a uh, dragon. So. Dragon is useful in both ways for cost or for um, lock. That's it. Then we play 
for Amayo. Uh, I mean, still go shy. Why not? Yeah, sometimes you don't have brave, so you don't want to go to Fetus. Uh, and then you go into Amal, it gave yourself a uh, 3k plus for the front row, and then you know you call out, gains another extra 5. So if you call Blaster Blade, Blaster Blade is uh, 17. Not bad. And it depends on you, since uh, Amal skill and uh, Grade 3 Amal strike skill activate both like when you place a unit on Vanguard. Amal activate when you place this on Vanguard, and strike skill activate when the sh unit strikes. So you could choose your order, you could just Amal skill first, and then call Blast Blade Blade out, and then gains, Blast Blade gains 4k, then strike skill counter Blast 1, give Blast Blade another 4k. So your Blast Blade will become 21 on its own, and with Flow Gold, that would be 221 to your opponent's Vanguard. And if it has a crit, you, you drive check with Amal with a crit on it to Blast Blade, that's for, uh, that's 26 crit 2 time, which is pretty strong. Now moving on to G Guardian, we play one of the Fighter Collection one. Uh, like I said, with Tango on, Dante go on the back, you usually have a grade 2, so you could use this skill. This skill will go off easily. Then it's, and it's a 20 k shield. Then we play one copy of the new one. Uh, I don't usually use this one because you hardly have 2 grade 2 on the board. Usually your opponent will kill, try to kill it, so uh, usually it's just a 15k G guard, nothing much. Then we'll play one dark. Uh, dark element is still good. If your opponent try to attack your rear guard and you want to keep it, it lets you protect it. And if your opponent playing X, X N, and they attack rear guard on 22, you could G guard it, and then it they can't resend right away. Last one we we'll play one screw. Uh, 25k shield, I mean, still good, and also it helps you to drop an extra card. Sometimes you know you could guard your opponent's full attack, and you need to drop some cards. You could drop, this one help you ditch one, so it makes you going to brave easily, and also a uh, higher shield. That's like the highest one in the G Guardian we play, unless you actually go off the 2 grade 2 for this, that will be even, but other than that, that's how the deck works and hope you guys like it and I will see you guys next deck for